happen. It's a generational uh, uh, a piece of news. Uh, Fred Wilpon, of course, uh, bought the team in 1980, uh, and uh, now the team, uh, pending owner approval, as the statement said, uh, will be sold uh, to another person entirely, Steve Cohen. So that's massive, massive news uh, for any sports franchise, and certainly for the Mets here that we're seeing uh, unfold before us. So Steve Cohen, this is now the, the second time he's been close uh, to doing this, Andy. And you mentioned the, the approval, the, the approvals in the statement uh, that Cohen still needs, 23 or more of baseball's owners. Uh, he would be the richest owner in Major League Baseball. What could still get in the way of this being finalized and this getting done? Uh, very little. It doesn't happen often uh, that owners uh, will not approve uh, uh, somebody who's agreed to purchase a team. The last time it happened was in San Diego, uh, fairly recently within the past decade or so. Uh, but it's it's the exception, uh, not the rule. Uh, Rob Manfred is the commissioner, certainly. Uh, I don't think has gone so far as to poll the owners or take a straw vote. But uh, rest assured, uh, the commissioner, uh, Mets ownership, and the other owners have a pretty good idea of where Steve Cohen stands here. And we probably wouldn't be at this point if approval weren't something that was highly, highly likely to happen. But I get how this could be a little bit confusing to our viewers. Like, wait, when exactly does Steve Cohen buy the team? Uh, and the answer is it does happen in two different big news developments, one of which we're discussing right now. It's breaking uh, this afternoon, which is the agreement uh, to terms on the sale. And the next is the ownership approval uh, in November. And again, all indications are uh, that, that that should happen. Uh, so once that does happen, uh, ownership officially changes from the Wilpons and Saul Katz uh, to Steve Cohen. Yeah, just some numbers you're seeing reported. I saw this from uh, Ken Rosenthal, also Tim Healy. Uh, just under $2.5 billion on the sale. 2.47 is what News Today is reporting. Uh, and then 95% ownership goes to Steve, Steve Cohen. The rest of that 5% uh, stays with the Katz and Wilpon families. Andy, we were talking about this earlier on the podcast uh, and how you've, I'm sure, been trying to dig and do your reporting and just in terms of now that we've assumed that this is where we'd end up, what Steve Cohen was thinking in terms of personnel. It's never too early to check and see if this is somebody who's made his mind up yet about anything or anybody. Um, but you were saying that this has been such a tight-lipped process that it's still way too early in this process to know where he is in terms of the, the actual on-field baseball front office fronts. Right, Doug. So this has been a, a really leak-free process for the most part from Cohen's side. Uh, we haven't gotten much uh, in terms of what he's thinking about specific uh, baseball uh, jobs and, and wh where he wants to go with the Mets organization uh, from a baseball standpoint, from a business standpoint, or really uh, anywhere else. Uh, people around Cohen have noted, uh, and people around baseball have noted, that uh, the lack of leaks has been something that's characterized his pursuit of the Mets. So that leaves a lot of question marks still. I've certainly, in doing my diligence and my digging, talked to a lot of people around him, people that are aware of what's been going on in the sale process. Uh, nobody really knows beyond speculation uh, what's Co what Cohen's thinking about, say, the general manager, Brody Van Wagenen, uh, how long he, he will stay in that role, whether there'll be more baseball people brought in. Uh, certainly, there's a lot of speculation in the game about different people who Cohen knows in the game and, and could be close to, who might come in. But it all is speculation at this point uh, because Cohen hasn't spoken. Andy Martino, our SNY MLB insider. Andy, we appreciate you joining us. As always, we'll have more coverage of all of this at 6 o'clock on Baseball Night in New York. First, I want to read you the statement once again in case you're just joining us that uh, the Sterling Partners just released. The Sterling Partners have signed an agreement with Stephen Cohen pursuant to which Mr. Cohen would purchase the New York Mets. The sale transaction is subject to the approval of Major League Baseball club owners. So again, this goes beyond uh, reporters reporting something that is in agreement. This is a full-on agreement agreement in terms of terms for Steve Cohen to become the next majority owner. 95% is what has been reported, the owner of the New York Mets. I won't give you a definitive number because a couple numbers have been reported in terms of what the Mets were sold to Cohen for. Uh, we've heard anything from the range of two, three, five billion uh, to two and a half billion. Um, so we're talking about a lot of money either way. Jim Duquette joins us now, former general manager of the New York Mets. Jim, um, what are your thoughts on Steve Cohen potentially, uh, it sounds like, as the next owner of the New York Mets? And what do you think today means? 
Well, I think it's big news. Listen, if you go around the league, there's not many times where there's a change in ownership, specifically with the Mets. I was there uh, working for the Mets when they did have that transfer from uh, Nelson Doubleday and, and Fred Wilpon, Wilpon to the Wilpon family back in uh, September of 2002. And so, you know, there's a little bit of disruption among the office, but for the fans, there's very little that that um, usually happens that that you know about other than the fact that you know that what Steve Cohen's reputation is in terms of having a lot of money being a huge Mets fan and wanting to you know field a competitive and a very good team so I think I think you know from the fan side of things this will be good news because the expectation is that he will pump money into this to try to make uh, this a a constant winner which I know the Wilpon family was trying to do along the way. Yeah, I think a lot of Mets fans, what they know about Steve Cohen is that he's incredibly wealthy. He'll be the, the wealthiest and richest owner in Major League Baseball, and that he's also a huge fan, not just a businessman trying to capitalize on an availability in terms of an ownership of a big league team, but also a guy who's watching this team every night. And so potentially has the frustrations of many Mets fans at home who are watching right now. Um, so, Jim, if you could put us in the shoes of a general manager or anyone in the front office or the organization already, um, how much when an owner comes in, I know that everything is now his decision, but how much will change around him? How much people do owners technically usually bring in that will be their own guys? Do you think the front office will look a lot different with a new owner at the helm? You know, it's, it's hard to know for sure. I, I would say this, that you know, there is a lot of uncertainty that comes with in the front office and the baseball department in particular with a change in ownership. And I do think that at some point, uh, you know, once he uh, gets a handle on the personnel there, he will make some additions, maybe not subtractions, but additions to, to that group, people that he knows, like you said earlier, people that he trusts. And then, you know, from there, you, usually uh, when we've seen transfers, they keep uh, uh, some of the baseball department together until they kind of get their feet, until they get a chance to evaluate them. Uh, in the personnel and that's you know that usually takes some time unless he you know unless they had uh, some preconceived notion somebody was feeding them information ahead of time so I, I i wouldn't expect a ton of change at least in the early going when something like this happens but i do think that at some point you know within the next year there would be uh, a fair amount of change and, and and maybe changes you know up and down in that in that uh, baseball department Jim, thanks as always. We'll see you again in about 20, 20 minutes when Baseball Night in New York starts. Okay, of course, we'll be talking more about all of this. Let's show you the statement once more before we go off the air and come back on in about 20 minutes. The Sterling Partners have signed an agreement with Stephen Cohen, pursuant to which Mr. Cohen would purchase the New York Mets. The sale transaction is subject to the approval of Major League Baseball club owners. 23 or more have to vote. That will happen in November, uh, and this will then be official. Once again, we're coming to you with the breaking news. Steve Cohen is in agreement with the New York Mets. That's a statement from the Wilpon family, from Sterling Partners. So that's official as it gets until this fall uh, when the rest of the owners, conceivably, as Andy talked about earlier, will approve Steve Cohen to be the next owner of the New York Mets. We'll be back at 6 o'clock on SNY with much more. Baseball Night in New York in just about 20 minutes' time. Thanks for watching.